And now a quick tutorial on the integration of the Tableau TX1 acquisition option. So we'll start with the actual Tableau device itself. We'll connect the device that we want to acquire, wait for our sources to populate. Once that populates, we'll move over to the destination and we'll add a mounted share. So we'll enter in our server name, it could be an IP address. Once that is complete, it'll ask us what we would actually want to name the share. So for here, we'll, we'll call it testing, and then we'd enter in our username and password. But it's easier to move from the actual device to the web interface, so let's do that now. So moving into the actual web interface, we'll enter in our username and password. Same thing, we will start with destinations. So there's a mounted share, uh, but it's not the one that, that we were just creating on the physical device. So let's do that here in the web interface. We'll hit the plus sign, mount share. We'll type in that share again. And keep in mind, this only has to be done one time uh, making a destination. Uh, so every other time you're going to acquire a Tableau device, uh, this won't have to be done if you're using the same share. So we enter in our usernames and passwords. We select mount. And then in our destinations, we will now have a testing share that we've created. So now that we have this, we can actually jump into analysis within Belka Soft X. So the new option will go to add data source, acquire, and we'll select Tableau. So we've already set up our destination and where this is going to be stored. So this will actually flow a lot better now. Uh, so we're going to enter in the IP address of that Tableau device. Select next. Enter in our credentials. Select Next, and it'll ask whether we want to do a physical or a logical of the device that's connected to our Tableau. See that it recognizes that flash drive that we plugged in, it's uh, 30 gigs, Samsung. So from here, we'll move on. And you can see that testing share that we created uh, inside of the web interface as well as the physical device itself. So let's go ahead and select that shared folder and that's where we would like to store this image. Three different options are available, uh, your raw E01 and the EX01. We also have the checksums available and to verify the acquired image. You also have the option to create a multi-part image uh, with two gigs actually being the uh, lowest number that you can set to chunk it. You select next and the next screen is actually going to be a list of all of the options that you've selected. So uh, your username, your password, what type of acquisition, uh, your image format, uh, sh checksums, multi-part, and you notice that we can change the name of the image there at the bottom. Jumping over into the task tab, what we can do is watch this uh, while it is imaging that device that's connected to the Tableau. And it'll say that, okay, it recognized that there was a 29 gig USB FAT32 uh, plugged in. And so we go ahead and select next. This is where we'd select what type of artifacts that we wanted to look for, uh, all our other options that we'd want to select and select complete. Okay, back in the task tab, if we hit the drop down arrow, we can see exactly where at in the process uh, Belksoft X is while processing the image. And if we jump into the artifacts tab, we can start seeing artifacts populate. And this is what we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed the latest addition to Belksoft X, the ability to acquire Tableau devices.